Welcome back to our channel, where we untangle the threads of cutting-edge technology, artificial intelligence, and genetics in the realm of medicine. Today, we've got a hot topic that's triggering debates from Harvard's classrooms to Twitter threads. Could our friendly neighborhood doctor become a thing of the past, replaced by none other than OpenAI's ChatGPT4? Here we go. Buckle up for the top five ways the awe-inspiring GPT-4 could be signing your doctor's pink slip. Number one, diagnostics. Picture this, GPT-4 equipped with a colossal database of medical knowledge and case studies, rapidly analyzing a patient's symptoms, matching them against a myriad of medical conditions and suggesting possible diagnosis. This high-speed, precise process could give our traditional doctors pondering a run for its money. Number two, a world without borders. Location, distance, schedules, things that offer hinder healthcare access. But with GPT-4, medical advice could be as accessible as your nearest device, available round the clock globally. Talk about democratizing healthcare. Number three, the economics of healthcare. At a time when healthcare costs are zooming upwards, GPT-4 could bring a welcome twist. By providing free or cost-effective consultations, it could help bring healthcare expenses down and within the reach of many more people. Number four, the perpetual student. The medical field is always advancing, and it's tough for doctors to keep up. GPT-4, on the other hand, can devour the latest medical research papers, constantly updating its knowledge base and bringing the most recent evidence-based medical information to the table. Number five, cutting out human error. Doctors, while highly skilled, are only human and errors do occur. AI, however, isn't subject to human error. It doesn't get tired or distracted or stressed. GPT-4 could significantly reduce errors in diagnosis, prescriptions, and perhaps even save lives. So, are we about to see doctors updating their LinkedIn profiles? Not just yet. GPT-4 and other AIs have their limitations. They can't replicate the empathy, the human touch, the instinct that years of experience provide. And the legal and ethical implications of AI in healthcare? That's a whole other can of worms. As we stand at this crossroads, we have to ask ourselves, are we going to hold on to the old or are we ready to embrace this brave new world that AI presents to us in the realm of healthcare? What's your take? Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.